Hi, this is Professor Afaq. Today we will discuss about LVDT, that is Linear Variable Differential Transducer or it may be called as Transformer. Here in LVDT we are having two different things. First is primary winding which is located here and we are having two different secondary winding that is secondary winding 1 and here is secondary winding 2. So we need to produce, we need to give, we need to supply the voltage across primary winding and output voltage is generally measured at secondary winding. Now in this LVDT we are having two different secondary winding that is secondary winding 1 and secondary winding 2 but few conditions that need to be satisfied for the secondary winding and those are first these two windings secondary winding 1 and secondary winding 2 must be connected in series here you can see this is secondary winding 1 which is connected with the secondary winding 2 in series and here we are getting the output voltage. Second condition they must have equal number of turns. The total number of turns on secondary winding 1 must be equal to total number of turns on secondary winding 2. This is the second condition that we need to satisfy. A third condition is they must be located at equal distance from the zero okay from the mean position they must be located at equal distance if the location of the secondary winding from the zero is suppose 3 mm or 3 centimeter or 30 centimeter the secondary winding must be located at the same distance from the mean line that is the basic importance and construction of secondary winding now next is this is this portion is called as core and this core is generally made up of ferromagnetic material whenever the current is in current the voltage is supplied across the winding the EMS EMF must have to be induced into this system so that is the basic principle of ferromagnetic material now see what will be the changes when the current is supplied when as the movement the core moves upward because LVDT is generally used to measure the displacement and this core the lower or the lower end of this core this end is connected to the measurement measurement is the system under measurement so as the movement core moves upward direction what will happen the EMF induced at the lower position will start jumping towards the secondary winding 1 and primary winding so all EMF will be all EMF induced will be concentrated at the uppermost portion it means what the second the total EMF induced in secondary winding 1 is more than secondary winding 2 in the first moment of core that is upward moment if the core is located at the central position or null position the EMF induced in secondary winding 1 will be equal to EMF induced in secondary winding 2 and last is the backtrack of the core or the last or backward position of this core in this position the core will move downward the EMF induced in secondary winding will 1 will start jumping on the secondary winding 2 and the total concentration at the secondary winding 2 will increase or more than the secondary winding 1. So here the situations are given. First situation is here if the secondary winding 1 EMF induced in secondary winding 1 is equal to say secondary winding 2. So the equation will become SW1 is 1 secondary winding 2 is 1 so it will become the 0 if emf induced in the primary winding the secondary winding 1 is lesser than the secondary winding 2 secondary winding 1 is lesser than secondary winding 2 what will happen then 
so here the value will become the zero and here will become the negative so at the last position we are getting the negative values and last is if the emf induced in secondary winding 1 is greater than secondary winding 2 then we are getting the positive values so this is the basic principle of linear variable differential transformer and this is the actual setup of LVDT and this LVDT is nothing but a demonstrator or it is a model okay here you can see these are the two secondary windings and this is the primary winding this is ferromagnetic that is iron core which glides or slides inside or in between the primary and secondary winding okay so first we need to switch on the button I have switched on and this is the LVDT okay this one is the LVDT which is attached to the micrometer here is the micrometer and we need to provide the displacement by means of the micrometer to this probe this probe is attached directly to the micrometer as and when the micrometer start moving in this direction this probe will also start move inside it and which is attached to the ferromagnetic iron core and it will move in between the primary and the secondary winding and the movement will be recorded into this display okay now what i will do i will simply rotate this micrometer into the clockwise direction so whenever i will start rotating the micrometer uh, thimble in clockwise direction see what will happen the dimensions shown by LVDT will start decreasing it was primarily it was 4 now it has been switched to the 3 okay and as I am giving the feed forward signal okay in uh, clockwise direction the dimensions are changing the values are also changing because it is reaching towards the null position so here I am rotating this knob and the dimensions are changed from 3 to 2 now it will change from 2 to 1 this is 2 to 1 ok and now it will change from 1 to 0 here we reached to the 0 exact 0 and this position is called as null position so this is the basic working principle and demonstration of LVDT thank you for watching my videos please subscribe for more videos related to this subject. Thank you very much.